Hi everyone, Letty here. Today I'm going to share with you another craft with me video where we make A2 size cards. We're going to have one design using twine and three by four cut aparts. So again, this was the extension of the Smash Art Stash 2022 collab. I'm using cardstock and I'm also using twine this month. So here is the card sample that I'll be making. I have a card base, card mats, cut apart. I have some embellishments, some twine. We will be making this same card design today on video. So, and then the collection I'm using is called Made with Love by Doodlebug. Super cute. This is the same collection I used for my last video which I'll have linked down below. I'm using some Dollar Tree twine. I'm using the Trinity Stamps Funfetti Love Embellishment Mix. Uh, if you saw my recent Not Too Shabby video, you saw I got that for free. I'll link that video down below as well. Um, and here I've already prepped all of my cards. And what we'll do is we'll assemble one together slowly and then I'll just kind of speed through finishing off the remaining. So I have my cut apart, a cut apart mat. And I'll list all the dimensions down below. This one is a three by four cut apart and a three and a quarter by four and a quarter mat. And then what I did was I die cut out of the center of the cardstock to kind of use up my stash as best as I could. I die cut out that stamped image and I figured I would use it as an anchor embellishment behind my cut apart on the front of my card, just like this. So, and then the dies I'm using are from Queen of Craft. Um, this is a stitched stamp die that I had gotten. And the goal here was try to find a die that was smaller than the cut apart. So that way I would make sure I had, I had room to glue the cut apart right on top of the cardstock mat. So here I have all of my items I'll be using. Again, we will assemble on camera. And so you see here, was this was kind of the layout. I figured I would just twist this little stamp a little bit, add my embellishments, and then add some twine at the bottom, just like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this card together. So what I'm gonna do is I have all of my items. I'm gonna put the uh, card base to the side because that's gonna be the item that we do at the very end. I'm gonna start by decorating my card mat. So I'm gonna glue my cut apart to my cardstock mat, first of all. And I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the edges of the cut apart so I don't glue right in the center yet. Then I'm gonna take that little stamp die cut and I'm gonna angle it and glue it down at the bottom left-hand corner of my card mat, just like this. And I angled it just to give it some additional, just kind of fun dimension. Um, and then I'm gonna glue the cut apart in the top right-hand corner. So now I can add glue to any part of the back of that cut apart. And I'm gonna add that right at the top. And you see, I left just a tiny little border. I, I, figured, I thought that it looked a little cuter with a little bit of border showing. Now, the next step is um, we're gonna go ahead and add the twine. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the twine at the bottom of the card. So what you do is you flip your card over, you add a little bit of glue or adhesive to the both sides. And this works best with like this type of tape runner. Um, you're gonna go ahead and add your twine, make sure that it sticks to one side. And then you're basically gonna wrap it around three times to where you have three segments, or you could do as many as you want, but I'm using three and for the purpose of this video, you wrap it around and I try to crisscross it just a little bit so that way my design on the front does get crisscrossed. You will see I do have at least one or two cards that I don't crisscross, you absolutely don't have to. Um, and then once the twine wraps all the way around, you just cut off the excess and here is what the twine will look like and make sure you do it kind of tight. Um, now I'm gonna add plenty of glue to the back of my uh, card mat so I can then add it to my card base. So here I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my card base. Now if you felt that your twine was a little thicker, you may wanna add an extra piece of scrap to the top of the back portion of the mat to kind of help balance it out. Now I'm gonna use those Trinity Stamps little embellishment hearts. I'm gonna take three out so I can glue them onto my card. I'm gonna use this little Amazon, this little jewel picker that I got from Amazon, Barely Art Wet Glue as well to kind of help adhere it. I find that this is one of the best glues. So I'm using that. I'm gonna add three little dots and then I'm gonna use this jewel picker that I got from Amazon and I'm gonna just add my little jewels onto my card. So, and if I get a chance, I'll link the jewel picker down below as well. This was a really affordable one. So here is the finished card. This is what it's gonna look like. So we've already made one together slowly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble the remaining cards on camera, but at just at a much faster pace. So this is at eight times the speed. So you see here, I'm gonna repeat the exact same process that I did for my very first card. I'm gonna just do it a little bit quicker. 
So I really like the way these cards turned out. I thought they were super fun. I thought it was a great option, um, especially if you were wanting to use up your twine, which is what my purpose was for the purpose of this video. Um, and as you can see here, I'm using an older Doodlebug collection. This is actually from last year. Um, and this, I mean, it just looks so cute. I think everything made with Doodlebug looks so cute. That was the card that I did not end up mixing the twine or twisting it. Um, now what, what I've also seen done um, by other crafters is you could actually tie a little bow around the twine right in the center to the side it doesn't matter um, and kind of kind of combine those twines or, or meld them together by having a little bow tied to them you could also just add a twine bow right on top of it as well just to add extra embellishment because I had thought of mailing these or these would be great for mailing, I wanted to kind of keep them as flat as I could, which is why I did not add a ton of extra dimension to them. And I figured um, just by keeping it kind of flatter, you could end up mailing it. But you could absolutely make it with more dimension. You could add layers. You could pop up the cut apart. Um, you could add an extra like, you know, big bow of twine at the bottom. You've got so many different options with this. Um, and I really think... Uh, think it's it's a great step to use your die cutting out of the cut apart mats so that way you can get even more out of your stash um, and so like I said here I just tried to find a die cut that would fit right in the center of that cut apart so that way I knew I had plenty of room to glue uh, that cut apart directly to the cut apart mat now, in case you missed it, I am going to go ahead and link down my Smash Our Stash video for this current month for February, um, where I showcase all of these cards that I made using twine. I am also going to link the other tutorial videos. I ended up putting out a total of four tutorial videos, including this one, where I share my process videos uh, for the different cards that I made for that collab this month. So I'll definitely link all of that down below, including a list the dimensions that I'm using for this card in case you do want to replicate or do something very similar to you know with the same card design so definitely check it out in the description box below if you have not subscribed to my channel i i would welcome you to do so my videos i try to keep them short i try to do crafty uh, tutorials as much as i can i also do craft with me's i do um share some of the holes that i t I, I purchase um usually online but sometimes in stores um so if that is something that is your jam definitely check it out hit that that bell so you can get notified when i do post a new video thanks so much for all of the subscribers by the way um so here i am actually going to go in and add my little heart embellishments to the cards um i thought these were so cute these hearts and they're from trinity stamps um as i mentioned uh, at the beginning of this video this was one of the freebies that i got from jamie's not too shabby shop i'll link the shop down below um she had a uh promotion where if you bought some of the new trinity stamps uh, new 2022 line that she just put out um she, she would actually and it was the valentine line she would send you uh and and you spent over 60 dollars. you would get this little embellishment set as a freebie and so i thought these were so cute um and so i purchased from her shop recently and i'll link that haul down below so you can see it as well um and i went ahead and thought they'd be perfect for this doodlebug collection set and i thought they were just perfect at, for adding an extra embellishment now let's go ahead and do a final recap here are my cards so here's the first one so super cute i really like how these cards came together I felt like this was a, an excellent way to use up your twine um, and to use up those cut aparts. Most collection kits do come with cut aparts. These were four three by fours. Um, and so I thought this was just a great way of using those cut aparts to make a ton of really quick and easy cards um, that are just so, so cute. So here it is. And so um, the, again, the collection I'm using is Made With Love by Doodlebug. We made 12 cards of A2 size using one layout and also using twine and some of those 3x4 cut aparts to come in our kits. Thanks for visiting everyone. Hope you subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram. Here are a couple of videos I think you might enjoy. Happy crafting!